listen, you've been talking 80% to his 20%. Your problem is you. <laughs> how long were you married when, when the trouble started? How, 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 how long was it good? It was good for, I mean, all the, the six years, anything I wanted. Like if I said I wanted, you know, new furniture, new laptop, he would always, even if I said I just wanted flowers, he would just Did, did you hear what you just said? He said, we've been arguing the marriage hasn't been good. And I said, how long has the marriage not been good? And you talked about all the material things that he had gotten you. Not, not about arguing, not about the kids, not about conversations that you didn't have or feelings that he hasn't been able to express, but you started talking, itemizing those things that you got, and hence, that hence made the relationship good. If the money had kept flowing, if you had a Mercedes and an addition on the house, we wouldn't be here, right? I have a Mercedes, I wanted a Porsche. I mean a Porsche. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My fault. I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. You still love her, Mr. Hamoud, don't you? Yes, ma'am, I always have. You want it to work out, don't you? Yes, ma'am. If I had the power, I'd clone you and sell you. <laughs> you're a wonderful guy. Thank you very much, ma'am. You're, you're, you're a quiet, nice, wonderful guy. Thank you very much. Thank you, I try. You'd be the biggest fool this side of the Mississippi if you let this man go. <laughs> You have to work for the things you want. You have to sacrifice for the things you want. He doesn't want to have kids with you because he doesn't think you're quite up to the job. He doesn't think that the marriage is a stable and a good one. He's beginning to see that as the money wears down, your love is wearing out, and he doesn't want to bring a child into that. If you want to have children with him, you have to show him that you are worthy to be the mother of his children. The mother of his children. <laughs> The mother of his children does not keep her hand out saying, I want. The mother of his children must take her hands and embrace. And I don't think you're capable of that. If you want what you really want, then you have to show him you're a grown woman and not a little girl with his hand in his pocket. Quit calling that man 10 times a day. He's trying to work to bring you all the stuff that you want. He has the right not to be bothered, and you don't have the right to be entertained 24-7, 365. It just doesn't work like that. You have to prove that you are capable of having children. You have to prove that you are woman enough. And when I mean woman enough, I mean have the ability to sacrifice, to do without, to not get what you want. Motherhood don't Porsche. Motherhood SUVs. It's, it's, that's what it is. Did anything I say make any sense to you, Ms. Michael? I still feel strong about how I feel. I, I just think that, you know, it was a lot of false promises, and he knew how I was, and I didn't lie to him. I'm doing you the biggest favor anybody has ever done you by telling you not to leave this man. I'm doing the biggest favor that anybody has ever done for you by telling you to grow your heart and to, and to pull back your hand. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing you the biggest He's fantastic. And you can't do any better. You can't. You just can't. Brad Pitt's taken, that's it. <laughs> oh, I do like you so. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, thank you. You still want her, don't you? She, she's, a good, she's a good person inside. She really is. You just got to get it out of her. I'm going to give you my book. It's called Making Marriage Work. It talks about what, it, what a wife does. It talks about what a husband does. It talks about what it takes to be married. And married isn't just giving and, giving and money and all this. It talks about all the stuff you need to do. You do that stuff, he'll give you those children, and eventually, you'll, once the children get, get, get grown, he loves you. 
and he must love you for a reason. I'm not going to give you anything, because that $42,000 will be the worst investment you've ever made in your life. I'm giving you the obligation, the duty, to try to make it work out with this guy, because he's going to meet you more than halfway. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so.